show buyer on how to mount a crystal or um, something else on a capillary and uh, to do that we have, we have a couple of instruments in here. You need a, a 0.5 millimeter uh, either quartz or glass capillary and they look, they come in a, in a little box sealed and the capillaries are like that, they are stretched, they are wide on one end and skinny on the other end and they are sealed. That's a glass or quartz capillary. Then to remove the water from the inside, you need to have a smaller capillary. This is 0.1 and it's a lot smaller. And we use it as a syringe to remove the water. What else do you need? You need um, a one millimeter, one cc syringe, a plastic disposable syringe. You need to cut a piece of Tyson tubing about half an inch, and you need to use that to put your capillary in this side. To put the capillary, what we do is um, we take the syringe, we shoot that it moves freely, we put the Tygon tubing, and then we take the capillary, is inserted at the end of the Tygon tubing. We have to go slowly with this. Until it's completely sealed in one end. That's the capillary in place. Um, the other thing we need is a piece of clay. This is a molding clay. And a small block like this will be good. And that, we're going to put the capillary there. So, form a little wedge that's going to keep the capillary in place so we can manipulate it in a microscope. Then you can cut it up. Okay. Cut. Yep. Okay, for the second part, the, I'm going to show you how to cut the top of the capillary, which is actually sealed, which is extruded. So I take a piece of clay again and put it, put it right there. And that will be ensure that the piece of glass saved in there. Now we have um, a capillary which is flat and cut like that. Now we are ready to fish the crystal. So maybe you want to look at the crystal here in the microscope. That's a crystal with a drop of water. We're going to try to fish one of these crystals in the capillary. The first thing I do is I look and put the capillary close to the microscope to see if they have the right size. So right now over there, you can see that the capillary is about the right size to fit one crystal. Maybe it's too small. And that's the width of the capillary and that's the size of the crystal. Okay, I'm going to go now and fish the crystal. So I have to have all my tools ready. Tool number one is here. Um, I'm going to remove the crystal. Gently. And put on top of a plastic cover. And to locate the crystal again. Right there in the crystal. But I'm gonna try to fish one or two pieces out of that drop. So to start, I start with a syringe about halfway, so I have enough playing action. I don't want to start at the bottom or the top, but rather in the middle. Now we're going to, maybe you can point in there, and put in the microscope. That one. Some more liquid there. So now we're going to fish with the crystal. So I'm going to try to mount one of these crystals in here. Um, they are not perfect, but they're good for the demonstration. So I'm going to try to grab either the little one over here or the big one if they fit. Let's we'll try to grab this one. So with my syringe pre cut, about halfway through, I'm going to try to mount it. 
grab it, the crystal, I think. And I just flipped it over so my gravity moves down. Now I have a column of water right here. Do you see it? Do you see the column right here? Okay. Okay, now I'm going to put it in my little clay. Here. The clay. Carefully. My column is still there and I'm going to put it in the microscope. Now I have a stable mechanism here. And um, the column is moving, so I have to be careful with that. Find the crystal. The crystal actually. That's the crystal right there in the column. Okay. Okay, so now we have to try to dry it out of the crystal. And there's several methods. So one way to put a paper wig. The other way is to put a syringe. Put a much smaller capillary, this is point 0.1. And I'm going to try to put the syringe inside this capillary. So when it's inside, you're going to chase the edge by going inside. Now the capillary there, the tiny capillary is inside and we can dry the excess of water. And when I'm touching the crystal, I can tap the column of water. the column of water now. It's completely dry. Now the crystal is sitting in, in a little meniscus right there. I'm going to rotate it. Zoom in. Now it's, the capillary is ready to be sealed. So let's cut right there. The next thing you need is a, a heater, probably a soldering iron or anything hot and a piece of uh, wax. You can buy this commercially in many places. And you make it, you melt the wax a little bit at a time, make a little puddle of wax. And while the wax is still liquid, you take your capillary, which has a crystal inside of the sample, and gently touch and make a little bubble of wax like that. And let it cool and repeat the process a couple of times until you form a little little ball of wax at the very end. Okay, cut. So now we okay. So now the, the crystal of the sample is in the middle of the capillary. We're sealing one end, we have to seal the other one. We want to leave a little column of water so we don't get the sample too dry. So the next thing to do is to remove the capillary from the syringe. And now we have to cut it because this part is too big. So we create a little piece of clay with a cut in the middle so there's no um, broken glass. And then we put it in this way. And with the razor blade, we make a knife, a very sharp and decisive cut like, like that. Now we have a cut in the, another cut in on the other side. Now the crystal is right in the middle here. We repeat the process. 
and we repeat the process of heating up the wax and sealing the end one time and another time and that's done so the, so the final product is a capillary with a sample in the middle and it has wax and wax on both sides